I couldn't have asked for a better partner through this whole process, you know. Um, I think that the Chamber is about partnerships, and I think that the way the Executive Committee works together and all the good work that we're able to do is a reflection on those partnerships. Oh, absolutely. The Chamber worked with the City on the Venture Park and the Catalyst Program. Yes. And certainly that has already paid dividends through projects, expansion projects that are occurring within the City and okay. with existing businesses as well as the new spec building that's being built. So it's things like that in my mind where the partnership with the city is extremely strong. So we've had a very long-standing partnership with the Chamber for economic development work and that's been um, very successful I think. Um, the Chamber has a role in terms of helping us recruit and retain businesses. It's been very great to have the Growing Forward campaign, for example, where the private investment of the business community can work with the government investment of the city and the county together, all working for economic development. The county's support, the commissioners, Craig and staff of Peasley, mm -hmm. is, is a big piece of why they're so successful. And also their, their unwavering support for the Bioscience and Technology Business Center. I just know for a fact that we get more of what we need when we work together and beyond that we get more of what we want. It makes our what the county does uh, exponentially more productive and successful when we have alongside us community partners so that's the chamber, that's the school system, it's the university, it's the city, um, it's our smaller communities, Eudora, Baldwin, Compton. So I think one of the exciting things that's occurred at Peasley Tech in particular is the Auto Lab, you know, and that's, that is a public-private partnership. Uh, the car dealers in town made a huge commitment to help fund that. Businesses investing here in Lawrence through Peasley in workforce development, which equals economic development. Now over time, in addition to being uh, help spawn Peasley and help get it off the ground and, and make it go, uh, Peasley now gets to serve as a partner in recruitment and retention of businesses by providing consulting and training services, uh, all of which are critical to business growth in our community, which is, of course, the goal of the Chamber. And so our uh, partnership is grown. You know what, a community is only as strong as the health of its community. And that's why it's, it's so important to have LMH um, here as a community partner and as a local hospital. It's so exciting to what, see what they're going to do out at LMH West. So this investment that they're making in the community is so important, not just for economic development, but for the health of our community. I think the partnership between uh, us and the Chamber is so important because we're both community pillars, if you will. And, uh, you know, when people think about a community, they think about health care, they think about education, and they think about the business climate. It really is about creating a partnership and a collaborative spirit with other organizations across this community to do that work. I think our project out west is a good example of that where we're partnering with our physicians, we're partnering with our surgery center, um, with other people in this community to say, how can we address the health needs of this community together? One of the um, things about the BTBC that is really unique to the community mm -hmm. is you know, you have the chamber who's really economically development focused and then you have the university who's doing research and putting students out and creating workforce, but the BTPC is kind of the, the link between the two. The purpose that the BTPC serves in this community um, is, is kind of unparalleled, quite frankly, within this region and, and we're really lucky to have a crown jewel like this. It's a very unique partnership. Uh, the chamber represents the Lawrence business community, which is a primary component of what the BTBC does. People know that the BTBC is a unique coalition of government, university, and business, and the Chamber is right there in giving us that business influence, which is what we do. We're in business to create business, and that's what we try to do at the BTBC. I think the, the credit really goes to Chancellor Gerard and his approach to economic development and wanting to work with the Chamber. He is really uh, dedicated and committed to 
finding ways for us to, to engage the resources that we have at KU. Dr. Gerard's bringing everybody to the table. Um, the Alumni Association, the Career Placement Service Centers, the Chamber, um, appropriate government leaders. You know, I'm, I'm just really excited where this next year is going to take us. I look forward to what KU, how it's going to evolve over time. Uh, it's going to need more and more partners as the uh, economy is changing, our environment is changing, the funding environment is changing, uh, expectations of our students is changing, and what's going to be required of our students when they graduate is changing and uh, really I don't think we can address all those issues without great partnerships uh, with the business community of course which the chamber represents and the community more broadly. I've been involved in chambers in Kansas City as well where I really started to learn the value of creating these relationships and, and really the important work that chambers do to make a community great. Uh, and, and I think not only do we benefit from that, but we have an obligation to be part of that. 2019 is, is, is going to be a big year uh, for, for Douglas County and the Chamber. So Thank congratulations. You. Good luck. Don't think I won't call you every week. <laughs> <laughs> I changed my number. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>